Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Roto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that I up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Wind the Film, another game from Dice Tower West. And I have to give a huge shout out to Jin, a fan of the show and a friend of Ruel Gaviola, and I assume a fan of Ruel's also, who brought two copies of the game. And he wanted to play this with me because I, I totally missed this game. It was uh, uh, It's an older card game um, from Sashi and Sashi. And I really like their quirky offbeat uh, designs. But somehow I just missed this one at the time. And um, he brought it because he thought I'd like it. And he was right. Uh, you know, we were halfway through our first game. We actually, I played two games with him and his girlfriend. Uh, and at the halfway through the game, I was like, oh my God, I must get this game. This is absolutely incredible. And he said, I got you covered. Like I said, he brought two copies. He brought one to play with me, and then he brought one to give as a gift. So I brought it home, and thank you so much, Jen. Um, Jen and I, we actually, this is a picture of, of us playing it in our hotel room, um, you know, the next morning, when normally Jen has no time to play games. So I said, honey, you're going to love this, and she did love it. I guess I should say, why do we love it so much? This game is a uh, a uh, straight building card game, where you have to like build straights of you know, like four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. And you're trying to grab cards in a very cool and very original draft where you um, don't always know what cards you're going to get because some of them are face down. You just know what range of number they have. So the draft is already really cool. But the most important thing about this game is your hand. This has the bonanza effect of not being able to rearrange the cards in your hand. So the cards go in on one side, they come out on the other, and everything is about trying to manipulate that so you can play the correct cards in the correct order so you can get those high-scoring straights. It's an incredibly clever game, incredibly tension-filled. I absolutely adore it. I will never get rid of it. Again, I just cannot say thank you to Jin enough. He was so right. It's my number four of the month. Wind the film! And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks. Thanks for watching.